Our other big story tonight, a shooting just outside of Chaparral High School in the east part of the valley. Three people were shot, including two Chaparral students. 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia is live from close to where this shooting happened. And I know this is just a, a tragic situation. I know you talked to some parents, Abel. Yeah, Trisha, most certainly since we first arrived here around noon, I mean, it's been a very hectic and difficult situation, not only for those parents, but also for those students and for these neighbors here near Chaparral High School. Now, Metro Police is telling us, and they say that this shooting happened near the school and it left three people who were shot. And now two of those people that were shot actually go here to this school themselves. And as of now, Metro and CCSE police are still trying to investigate what exactly happened. Metro says calls of shots fired came in at 1143 this morning and three people were taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds. Again, two of them were students at Chaparral High School. Around this time, school police placed the entire school on lockdown and one student tells me teachers and students were running around frantically and pushing kids into classrooms to keep everyone safe. At first, I was a little scared because I was like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I, I didn't know if it was outside because they said because they said it was a lockdown and at first that's all I, what I heard and then, you know, as the hours started to pass by, they were start giving, you know, giving us news. Be like, oh, some, you know, teenagers got hit. I was like, oh, shoot. Now students were released from that lockdown around two this afternoon. And now Metro also mentioned earlier this morning there was a fire close to the school and students were evacuated from the school and brought back inside. And now it's still undetermined whether or not this school evacuation and also this school shooting that was near the school was particularly where they did they have anything that got involved or were they coincide with each other? We continue to discover and find out more information about the situation right now. So far, they continue to investigate that is CCSD police as well as Metro gang unit. They continue to investigate what exactly happened. And of course, we also talked to some parents and some more officials about this entire situation and how hectic this was overall. And of course, Sean Delancey will have that information for you very soon. But for now, Trisha, I'll send it back to you.